Do you know Airflow provides an option to set custom notifications? So with that, you have flexibility to send alerts on your emails, SMS, Slack, or any other messaging service. So in this video, let us integrate Airflow with Slack and send custom alerts when a DAG and the tasks fail. We'll create an app in our Slack, and that app is going to send alerts mentioning the name of the DAG, the execution date, and the list of all the failed tasks with an error message as well. So first off, let's create a specific channel for these alerts in our Slack account. So we say add channel, create a new channel, um, call it as Airflow DAX alerts, create. We'll skip this for now. So now we have this uh, channel in there. Now you go to the API slack.com apps and you create a new app from scratch, uh, call it as, uh, I don't know, Airflow bot and you pick the workspace here so in this case uh, let's go for mexico tag and create the app right so you have the app set it up now go to incoming webhooks and here you need to enable the webhooks and create a webhook now this app is going to ask you on which slack channel i'm allowed to post these alerts so in this case it is automatically going to show you all of the available slack channels so let's pick up this one allow now here is this specific webhook URL that has permissions to send alerts on this specific Slack channel. So let us copy this and test and see whether it works. So you can use any of your favorite uh, API application. So in my case, I'm using Postman. Uh, create a new request and uh, send a post request on this webhook URL. And um, in the body, just mention any text you want. Send, we received a response, okay. And as you can see, the bot is working as expected. Now let us add this webhook URL in our Airflow tag. In order to test Slack alerts in Airflow, we first need an Airflow instance up and running. There are several ways of doing that. I already have videos showing how to spin up Airflow using different executors with MySQL, with SQL Lite, as well as using the Kubernetes executor. The link of all those tutorial videos is mentioned at the top right corner as well as in the video description below. The Slack alerts integration is going to be the same no matter how are you setting up the Airflow instance. For this video, we are going to use minimal setup to spin up Airflow on local machine, which is using sequential executor with SQLite database. This code that we are using is also available in the video description. I've set it up minimal tag to test our Slack alerts. So it has these default args as owner Airflow. Uh, then we have uh, this tag definition with four tasks out of which three are going to fail, then setting up some dependencies and etc. Now in order to allow DAG to trigger alerts on DAG failures, so we have to set this callback method as uh, on failure callback as uh, a function that is going to trigger whenever a DAG fails. So in this case, we define a function called alert slack channels. So first of all, let us mention our Slack web URL. We are hard coding this here for now, but you can set it up in the Airflow connections as well. Then define our alert Slack channel function in here. It won't do anything if Slack webhook URL is not mentioned. Otherwise it is going to continue the execution by taking some required parameters. In here we are taking the task instance detail with the DAG name and task name and the error message itself execution date, uh, DAG run, and all of the task instances which are running inside this tag. You can get the details of task instance class in their official documentation over here. So you can see it has all the details you need, task ID, DAG ID, run ID. It also has the state of this task instance, which we are going to use to identify which, one, which tasks were failed. And it also has the log URL of that failed task. Let us define this log URL as a template, which will be named as uh, their task name with the URL of the task logs and get all the failed tasks by filtering on state equals failed. Now let us construct our Slack message. The title will be as follows. So we are using a Slack emoji with red circle, uh, DAG and bold DAG name has failed with uh, this many numbers of tasks. Uh, fail tasks. So that's the title and the message part will look something like this uh, Execution date all of the fail tasks as comma separated and the error message Now let us combine all of this message with the title as well as the message part and finally we are going to execute this slack message 
Of course, we need to import this uh, Slack webhook as well. So that should uh, be like this. And I think that should do. So let us go ahead and test this. So you need to have Docker and Docker Compose installed in order to run this. So you go to this desired directory, Docker Compose up. First, we are going to run this uh, Aflow init to initialize the database. And now uh, you can run Docker Compose up. That's it. This is going to spin up a scheduler, a web server, and yeah, that's all. Within a few seconds, everything should be up and running. So yeah, the web server is available. Let us go to our browser and localhost. I think I'm running on uh, 8081. So this is our DAG that we set it up right now. And let us enable this and go inside this DAG and see tasks failing. Right, so two of the tasks failed and the third one succeeded. And I think the task two is uh, up for retry. Ah, it's upstream failed. So this entire DAG should fail. And we should see a Slack alert on this as mentioning uh, the DAG and the name of the DAG has failed with two failed tasks, execution date, and the tasks URL, as you can see in here, are mentioned as well. So when you click this, uh, this is actually going to give you an error because it's referring to localhost 8080. So you have to change this to whatever port is uh, forwarded as defined in your Docker Compose file in here, 8081. So if you change that, this should redirect you to the logs of that failed task. Having said that, you can also set these uh, methods, uh, send alerts on task failures. To do that, you simply copy this method and define it inside the task decorator where you are defining your task as on failure callback. There is an also callback function when the task succeeds as on success callback, as well as there is another one called on execute callback, which gets triggered before the task gets executed. So you can feel free to play around with these and test setting up your own custom triggers. You can also set alerts on SLA failures. I think there is a method called SLA miss callback. So this method is going to trigger whenever the DAG misses the service level agreement. So that is all for this short video. I hope it was informative for you guys. And if it was, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel if you haven't already. I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.